We want Richard Fine freed. We need the justice system to come back to the people. We don't want bribes. We're tired of justice that takes away our families, destroys our families, destroys our, our faith in our government. Arthur, you say about all these judges? They received county funds in violation of Penal Code Section 496, and the people who in the legislature who said it was okay are accessories after the fact to a felony in violation of Penal Code Section 32. So I, should these 400 judges be in jail and attorney fine free? I would say that's a greater probability, according to law. Roger. There is a good crowd here. People are, are awake, William, to what's going on. I have no problem explaining corruption to this crowd here and telling them what the problem is. The problem is, of course, is that, that people are having their children, their property stolen in these sham judicial proceedings by these totally corrupted uh, judges doing this because they are allowing them to do it. They walk into those courtrooms by general appearance. Fine is fine. You are not fine. You should go into a cell. You should experience jail, all of you. I want to say, the time for those judges who usurp their power, who are corrupt, who get bribes, and who are openly corrupt, and they are not afraid of anyone because the politicians are made of lawyers and the government is made of lawyers, and the ABA and the California Bar Association, they're worse than the Soviet Union. They don't even hide their corruption. Instead, they openly jail an innocent reform lawyer like Richard Fine, who's over there. And I say it's the Schwarzeneggers and the legislators and the county judges over there who are openly receiving bribes, $50,000 bribes every year. They're the ones who should be there because every time they judge against us and they judge in favor of every case, in favor of either the city or the county or the state, that means the people have got absolutely no power at all left. And the only voice we got left is this one here. And I'm saying next time there should be 1,000 instead of 10 people here protesting this traversy against the Constitution of the United States. You hear me, you jailers over there. All of them have become nothing but robots doing whatever their, order, or their orders are, not asking fundamental questions. Who belongs in this jail? Not the innocent reformer, not the good attorneys, bad attorneys, not innocent fathers who have, so, who have been forced to give every dollar they've made and still all more end up in jail here.
Hunt! for 12 years, if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Every person that went before these judges for the last 12 years should have their case for the attorney fine. The judiciary, legislative has given them immunity, and the executive branch has covered it up. Are they just jailing fine because the appellate court found he was he was right, the 400 judges have committed crimes by taking this extra pay? Is that why they put him in jail? Yes, I think it's only retaliation. What's going on here? Well, basically what we're doing, we're asking that since uh, SB 11 has been passed and they've given the judges immunity uh, and they made it retroactive, I think if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Every case that has gone before these judges should be able to be revisited. Uh, you know, we have three branches of government, legislative, executive, and judiciary. We've caught the judiciary, so now you got the legislative branch create the bill of the executive and signing on to it. So what it seems like is that they have become against the people. Who is looking out for us? When we, so in other words, what you're telling us essentially is this. When we catch you, you just go make an emergency bill to give yourself immunity. So the bottom line is this. If the judges and their cohorts can have immunity, every case that comes before you should be able to have um, the cases revisited. If you're going to be fair and bring restoration back into the lives of the people. And that's what I have to say. And free attorney fine because you're wrong and you know it. No accountability. Well, you heard it. I'm William Wagner in downtown Los Angeles at the... Los Angeles County lockup for men where attorney Richard Fine, an international attorney who proved the 400 judges plus 400 plus judges were criminals taking extra payments and maybe that's why the county's only lost two lawsuits over four years with tens of thousands of lawsuits filed against them. This is exactly why we the people have to go into those courtrooms and tell these judges they are not our masters. William Wagner here in downtown Los Angeles. For on second thought.